Hello, Plastic Model Builders. Welcome back. This is your host, Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder, and we are doing the F4B Phantom 2. This is part one. We've got our fuselage halves here. We're going to start preparing these for assembly. This is a wonderful model. I love doing this one. It's my first expensive model that I got. So by you watching this, I hope you see it and you want to do it too. So this is a refueling probe. You have an option to have that in or out. I made mine to go out. Uh, by the way, we've got a new Facebook group it's called Plastic Model Builder, of course. Check that out. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. You know, I love all those and I love comments. We always do a live chat for every premiere, so come join us for that. And I'm usually there 95% of the time. So here we go. We are putting in this little area here for the, uh, what do you call it, the fueling probe. And then this is one half of the fuselage of the right side. This is the other part of it. You piece this together right here. There were very little seams in this kit, so this is great. I love it. So here you got to put your glue. Be careful with your hands, right? You don't want that thin cement if that's what you're using to leave fingerprints. I had some oopsies with that, and yeah, I left fingerprints. Lesson learned. Never really worked with such a fine detail kit that sucked that glue right into its crevices with the capillary action. We've got some panels that need to be added to the plane. Four different versions. These are for the uh, back of the engines right here. Just put this little guy right there. Fits in nicely. Look at that. It's pretty. Just a little bit of glue. It goes all the way around there and it fills in nicely. It sucks it in. Don't do that. You only leave a fingerprint. I did. Uh, put a little bit of glue right here. This is for these uh, back panels for the engine. See it fits in nicely. I had no troubles at all. See that? I like it. And then this is the other side right here. You can see we're just getting the inside of that. Another little panel. They got a bunch of these. It's for the various versions. And there's another one right there. So you know, they might be doing a J version from what I understand or N. I'm not sure. All the Phantom builders that know the kit better than I do when the plane, they can tell you what the versions would be because they're just smarter than me. I'm not dumb, but they know more. See that little panel going in right there, and it just it's like gone by the time you put it in. Even this one, you can see it now. By the time I glue it, you don't see it. It's gone. It's like it vanished like a ghost for Halloween. So, here that is. It's nice and pretty. We want to make it look pretty because it's a model. Making it madness. There's another panel. It just disappears. Just like I said. Showing you all this model and all its beauty. We're also going to be doing some painting in this of the cockpit. Wonderful stuff. Look at that. You see how it just kind of vanishes when you paint it? I'm sorry, when you put the glue in there, it just goes away. So this is the uh, pedals on the inside of the cockpit. We're going to start working on the instrument panel like that. We also do some priming and some black basing. I know some people don't prime or black base. We chose to do that for this model. Do yours your way. Make yours look how you want. I made mine look how I want. There are the foot panels. Got to drill a hole right here. Follow the instructions. It tells you exactly what size you need. And that's exactly what I did. I drilled it from underneath. Perfect fit. There are a bunch of other things you will need that drill bit for as well later on. Won't see it in this video. We'll see it in a different one though. So we go, put the little instrument thingy down, just like that. You know, I thought it was a foot control. These are foot controls, though. The other one was a radar or something of that nature. I know somebody will tell me what it is, because I don't know. That's what model building is for, people to tell you stuff. So, got my little tweezers here. Put that in there. Try to do a bunch of pre-assembly on this. Uh, I should say, just on this model, go through the instructions, read them thoroughly. Because sometimes there are parts that can go together that don't need to be painted in certain areas the way they had this design to where you can just put stuff together without the paint on it and then paint later so try to do that and see how it works out for you it's hard figuring it out the first time you do it but you know if you do it you get better at them got more of the instruments right there this is part of the black back bulkheads or front bulkheads one of the bulkheads definitely has these and they just melt into the plastic look at that once it's in, it's like, where's it go? I don't know. There it is. This is a highly detailed kit, by the way, as you can see just by looking at it. Tamiya, 
did a really nice job on it. Uh, most people say this is one of the best kits ever produced. Of course, that is an opinion. It is up to you to determine so. And put this right here. Find a way to hold it in place. It's a little top heavy. Once you get that glue down, though, shouldn't be a problem. Maybe you should take something like that. These are the side panels. And of course, one little panel that goes on top of that. Another panel. And our side winders. I'm going to get these out of the way. I am showing you stuff as I build them. So we got Sidewinders and Sparrows. Uh, there are two different versions of those. One is for an older version, one is for a newer version. I believe these are the somewhat newer versions. Here, the A9Gs, I think. I don't know. Something like that, right? They're the Sidewinders. See, this old piece just fits in perfectly right there. And then you open a little bit glue. And there go all the way around. And the seams hide very nicely in this as well. Um, even putting these onto the plane was easier than most other models that I've done. Got a little too much dents in it there, but that's okay. It's going to bond nicely. Put this piece in. You can't even really tell that it's a half the way they do this. The decals hide a lot of stuff also. And we're going to put the fins on. So uh, basically each one of these, even with the, the fins right there, they also have different tops because they are different versions of this and the model tells you which parts are not used so just make sure you make a note of that here are the sparrows let me cut those out do the same thing as you can see you've got four fins to put on those and as well a flat piece I don't know what it is I know you'll tell me because that's the way things go so cut that right there cut it out these little things there are for the molds a lot of these go in areas that are not going to be noticed, so you don't really have to do too much sanding. And that's a good thing. You see how easy that comes off? Just get a little bit of sand. Put it right here. It's a flat spot for it. It's designed that way. So there you go. Put that in right there. Make that look pretty, which is what I did. You can do that too. Perfect, just like that. You see both sides of those. And there's the other one right there it's got two of them on each missile total of four missiles each four sparrows and four sidewinders or six i don't remember it's been a long time but they go nicely on this aircraft put in the other one right here and then the back fins got two of those just hold them up make sure they line up nicely it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out see just like that nice side view i hope you like it so now i'm going to do a little bit of prime and a little bit of black basing that way everything looks good so it's a light color virtually matches the uh color of the sprue so it's a little hard to see what you're painting but i know you can manage you can get this done there's the cockpit. I'm going to spray all that on the inside. Did I tell you we're going to make it look pretty? I think I did. So, got that right there. This is one of the other instrument panels. Got a little bit of silly putty to hold that down there. It worked out perfectly. And finished priming this. I liked it. Did a good job. That's a wheel well right there. You can see it's really large. And here we go. Black basing. Gives it a little bit of depth depending on how you want your paint to show through on the base coat. And it also kind of, you don't have to do as many panel lines, things like that. There you go, more. Lots of panels in this aircraft. Um, some things probably could have been assembled pre-done in the plane before I did this, but that's a lesson learned. You know, the more expensive these kits get, they're built better and you can do more things with them as a whole when things are properly glued in but you know you sometimes you don't know until you actually start doing them we're almost done with the black basing not too much left with some of these stuff there we go painting the base color i can't remember what type of gray it is but it's in the instructions do a good job with it i got my little piece of tape there so i don't have to get certain parts of it painted that'll stay black 
You see, it shines through nicely. I didn't want to get it too thick. I just wanted it to make it look like it was fairly worn on the inside. If you want to make yours look brand new, like it just came out of the assembly line, do it. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can just paint the base color just like that and get a nice thick coat on it. So you can see how it brings out, it highlights everything with that black base coat. How you have that, then you can even still weather that in addition to all the other stuff. So here, we're doing the regular color. I'm trying to stay away from where the paint would go. That way I don't have to scrape any off when it comes time for gluing, because paint and paint don't bond together well, but plastic and plastic do when you're using types of thin cement. So these are pretty much the instrument panels. There is a lot of them. Uh, just a little bit more right here. You can see them all. We're going to assemble those and put those into the aircraft later. This is how time consuming this model is. You're basically seeing the start of everything. We have a 13 minute video here and really you're just seeing the start of everything go together. And I know you like to see full assemblies. That's why I do my videos the way I do them. If you want to see full assemblies, you're going to get them. I'm not going to show you half of a building and then you see, oh, well, this is where we're taking off. No, I give you everything right then and there. So here's another instrument panel. You can see how well the black basing comes out of that. Works out great. It brings out the shadows. It makes everything pop. Just like that. Just another quick coat right there. That way you can see the in-depth there. Get this right here. I love it. Looks great. Here's just some of the remaining instrument panels. You know, just quickly going over, getting a second coat of these. That way, you know, you have really something really nice that it looks to. And you see I'm going a little bit lighter on this one right here because you do want the black basing to pop out just a little bit. It's almost like doing a panel wash, but not. And you see it, all the magic, all the little parts that we have. There they are. One little more detail part right there. All the little doot doots on the side. So I've got my black panel, my pen here. It's enamel. This is, I just want to try something new. Painting these parts just like this. Doing a little bit of coloring. Everybody likes to color. You got to stay within the lines. I didn't always stay in the lines, but I'm not too worried about it. I know you just want to see the overall finished product of my models and how I do them. Got your little instrument control stick right there. And then there's the other one. One's in the back seat, one's in the front seat. Got some more stuff. Maybe next time I'll do some dry brushing instead of using the paint pen. But you know, sometimes you just want to find out what works. So same concept kind of here. I get a little messy with the paint pen. It is a marker style. You see where I got a little messy. It's okay. It happens. Weathering will take care of all of that. I promise. So we make it look good and we make things look pretty. That's the whole goal, right? Make stuff look pretty. Just finish that. You see that little instrument there? The back side. This is good stuff. I hope you buy this kit because I had fun with it. Thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, see ya.